All right. How's that disparity working out in Trickstar? Um, I think conceivably it's the best draw card available. I'm not sure if I want to play it and Duality. Uh, I don't really. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that. Yu-Gi-Oh! GCG. I can't find the official. I'm just gonna use Yu-Gi-Oh! Cause I can't find the official banner. So we're gonna be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters tonight, chat. I don't know. It'll work. Um, I think Dual uh, Disparity is really good for Trickstar. Uh, digging through your deck to find light stage is broken. Um, I'm mostly torn on whether or not I want to play the Dragoon stuff. Let me see. Um, I like Super Polymerization. I think Super Polymerization and um, this card go really well together because you don't really care about the Super Poly targets that aren't that good um, for general matchups. So you can get rid of a lot of them instead. And then you dig through your deck and find the cards that you need. Like this. I could I could just get a raw dra naked dragoon. I could get um Well I'm getting a uh, light stage. Post Fender and Jaw Child Super Poly again. Do you mean in Dragon Maze? Or like in Trickstar? Lesser luck. I think Super Poly is getting kind of stupid at this point. There's a lot of uh, people are sleeping on it. Buster Lock is really the only thing keeping the card in check. It's definitely still broken. Um, and then you use Lily Bell. Control maids, I'll try super poly. Oh yeah, I think disparity is even better in control maids because you don't you don't have to fill up on um house and show, but you still get to dig in your dig through your deck for the cards you absolutely want. Like that card is really strong. And then you just do this. So that's kind of the... I wish I drew more hand traps, but this is kind of the Dragoon play. I don't know. I really don't like using Dragoon. I don't think it's that great, but it's whatever. It's really tight. Um, Yeah, in mid-range, it's probably not going to feel too great. For sure. Like, even in my... um, Let me see. Here we go, like this. There's not a lot of cards in this I really would want to banish. So I still don't think it's better than Noctavision Dragon. Um, but I do think in the control variant, it is better than Pot of Extravagance. Because you still get to keep the cards that matter in your extra deck. And you also just get to get a search for the cards that would probably make your plays for you anyway. Like... If, if Chamber is all you need, right, instead of drawing two and hoping you see her, you can go through the top six cards of your deck and grab her. Or Parlor, you know what I mean? Hurts to just kill Lily Bow for any kind of that. Um, so the thought process is, the only reason, the only way I would use Lily Bow is if I have a Trickstar Reincarnation in my hand to discard for Dragoon or to use on my opponent. Because then you just banish it on your follow-up turn and summon the Lily Bow back. 
and then you use the Lily Bell's effect and you go from there. So that's why I like to use Lily Bell. Uh, otherwise, you could use Coral Bane. It's not net. Coral Bane's not net. It's not really like doing anything. So. Let me just make. A, I'm not gonna do this. We're gonna just make room and let them come to us. Reincarnate as a big bat monster. Yeah. All right. I'll oh, see. We opened good here. I don't know. Oh, we're playing some 60 card nonsense. Let's see if we can get two uh, trick star reincarnations. Uh, and then we just ban all the super poly targets that we don't really banish, that we don't know will be good until like later. Do you get ashed here? Okay, so we open light stage. That's nice. Because now we can bait. Oh. Maybe there isn't an ash. I'm definitely um, searching a reincarnation here. Candina back. Yeah, right? I was hoping I could rip um a second trick star reincarnation off of the disparity. So now we just see what we're playing. Fuck. Okay. Wait. 50, 60 card Dark Magician including Super Poly? What is this? Yeah, see, that's why I don't like Dragoon, by the way. That right there is why I don't like Dragoon. Super Poly is absolutely broken, and the only redex that it's not good against is the best one. Nah, Holmes. We're taking that hand. We're taking it. The whole thing. <laughs> Eye of Tamias, Chaos Max Dragon, and what is this? They're not ready for that. Do you have a friend that plays bricks in the deck like a house and still draws perfect first hands? Uh. Yeah, I know a lot of people that play, a, a lot of my friends that play bad deck, uh, bad cards, and they draw like champions. Okay, so. He scooped up. Alright. Cool. If anybody, you, if either of you guys want to play, anybody you guys want to play, like, hop in. Big Brain in Among Us and Big Brain in Cars. 
<laughs> What's up, Law? Thanks for stopping stopping by. Uh, audio fine. Oh yeah, let me know if the audio is okay, if I'm heard, or is the music too loud. Just let me know right now, so I can like tweak it a little bit. Am I going? No. See, I'm always gonna draw the red eyes. Always. Sending a ghost ogre? I'm going to let that go. That looked worth house uh, ashing. That kind of feels bad. Alright, I'm pretty sure that last card in your hand isn't good. And if it's a good card, then you're just the greatest Dragon Maid player ever. Nice. Alright. And I got the DD Crow. That's perfect. Oh no. That sucks. if I want you to count actually I don't think I care. I have a candy in hand. I don't want to put it back. Um I search Yeah I'm pretty sure I don't let you keep the parlor. Audio was greed for headset. <laughs> Ernest, okay. We're this desperate, huh? Now we gotta. <laughs> Unfortunately. I had a second one. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the end of the game. Uh, all right, let's see. This is still good even if I go second. This isn't as good. I could side in the Mystic Mind, but I don't like that against... I mean, I don't like it against Dragon Maid when I duel against the deck. I'd rather just play Cosmic and try and banish your changeover. Also, I'm only playing. I'm only playing a 14 card side. I just realized that. This hand is trash. I can't believe I drew this bad. And you drew full combo. Oh no.
I am in the competitive EU. Oh man, that's this is so good. I love this play. But I hate losing to it. Can we ban LP please? Yeah, dude, go ahead. Building a house. I am trying, head pat. I am trying. So you have Red MD and you have Ravine. You definitely have hand traps. Yeah, this is it, the full setup. All right, let's see what I can do. Ooh, that was the wrong one. That means, so that means one of two things, either you made a mistake or you deliberately have a tidying set so you didn't want to send it with uh, parlor I still would have sent it with parlor because now I get to do this yeah that's why I try with my hardest to not summon um, chamber off a show in the standby phase. I feel like if I search, I think no, because if you have a tidying set, you just bounce it back. No, I'm gonna go with my first theory and assume you have a tidying set. Otherwise, goes and match would be a steal here. Candina, baby. evolved so much I can't even comprehend what's going on yeah it's the game's pace is definitely accelerated um I would say it's definitely to its detriment but 
it is still fun. At least I think it is. Uh, Lily Bell. I think Lily Bell, only because it helps me break boards. Hoping I hit right. I open too many copies of the same cards. I can't really play out of that. Unfortunate. I have to learn all the new cards and combos again. The meta is kind of like... Eh. Personally, I don't think it's very fun or very interesting to watch. It kind of plays out the exact same. You'd spend an entire, uh, I want to say, 10 minutes f for one game telling your opponent they can't play it. I like this new pot card. I think it's really good. There we go. This card was made for Trickstar. The fact that it reduces the, uh, the amount of damage trick stars do too it's kind of insane for it to be a <laughs> it, it it's gonna be that expensive that's the kind of the, the sad part about it i don't know how many meta decks will necessarily use it though Probably has an MFIP. 
but I don't really care. I'm still gonna go for the Dragoon play. I would have held it for this too. But it's okay. I still have reincarnation, imperm, and infinite impermanence. So I have more than enough. I should be able to stop this. And Ash. And New Desires. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't like this combo. <laughs> you put all your eggs in one basket and you gotta put like three bricks for it. It is more consistent. Since any two, any pretty much combination of Candina or Corobane and a hand trap could do what you needed to do. Searches earnestly. You have a hand of at least. So, Nurse is probably in that hand. Or something. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's see if I can get it. Let me see. Can I get the nurse? Yes, I got it. <laughs> and you didn't draw into another one. Imagine. Um, yep. Getting nurse is pretty strong. Can't really complain. I don't... Do I let this go through? No, I don't... I think I... I don't think I let this go. It's tidying, reborn... Yeah, I, I think I stopped this. We see all Mirage in the LP play. <laughs> or he makes fears. All right. Yes, sir. And now we do the best thing Trick Stars were capable of. This deck's lack of heart once per turns. It just feels so good playing this again. Oh man. I haven't even normal summoned. See if we can squeeze out some burn damage. Oh. 
That's not nice. Um, I guess I just pass. Didn't do trick stars justice. No, it didn't. The anime definitely didn't do trick stars justice. I mean, my 400 IQ play doesn't matter if you just top deck like a god. Yeah, I'm going to stop this right here. And if you have anything else after this, you're free to do what you want. <laughs> so if you activate... Oh damn. Dag. I was hoping you'd activate more spells. It's Dark Magician! The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Um Battle phase? Best girl? Attack directly. She was. Attack. <laughs> GG Angels. Yeah. You tend to forget Predaplant Verse and Akana has a first effect. <laughs> that thing actually sets up Super Poly plays without sending the fusion spell. So that was pretty good. Um I just, I really don't like Dragoon. I was like, you better have it. Oh yeah, if I didn't stop that Spheres play, you probably... I think you should have just... Hmm. It's hard to say, right? It's hard to say what you should have done there. Because I, I definitely was going to do it just to bluff the Spheres no matter what. And see what you summoned off of, um, which was probably going to be Chamber. Uh, you were going to summon a Dark. Because that was like the only thing you could summon. Uh, I guess you could summon another Parlor from your deck, but you didn't really need to do that. Um, but Banishing Your Nurse uh, with Trickstar Reincarnation, that was like the that was the play that I needed to do. And it worked out. It was just better that you didn't draw into something else. I had two world legs against other I might have considered shotgun bouncing my world legs against Yeah. I probably would have done that. Cause there was no way I was gonna OTK you. But the concern was does he play two tri uh two dragoons, right? Because if I play two dragoons, I was just gonna use the Verte to make another one. Maids plus ravine, or another red eyes fusion. Maids plus ravine. So I rolled my eyes, but the hand was playable, so it got that. Yeah, it was playable. <laughs> Maybe I should play a second copy of red eyes fusion just in case the verte gets stopped. I don't know, it's cause I I just I really don't like it, man. It. <laughs> I don't like dragoon. I think it's strong. I just don't think it's like. Mm. Yeah. Oh God, no! I'm not playing another balloon. Uh, let's see. I thought at that point I might as well play um, three Red Eyes Fusion then. Maybe? Let me see. Uh... Six with the normal spell. Yeah. This thing also sends this card, which can revive Dragoon. Where is it? This one. 
That's deck with a trick star engine. See that? I could do that, but I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound fun. I could cut back on Coral Banes. I don't need three. Unless I'm, I think three Coral Bane is good when you play Overlay Booster, but not without it. So I'm going to cut one down to two. I think two is good for a grind. Okay, so... Where is that card? Here it is. I'm going to play a second Dragoon. So if I play two Dragoons, I probably should play a second Verte. That's how you beat over a Mechanical Chase. <laughs> I could cut one of these uh, Starving Venoms. Because I technically play two Starving Venoms and Starving Venom or uh, this Drago Stapelia. I use which one's either better. So I can cut one. I play this for the Shadal matchup because Shadal versus Trickstar is fucking stupid. Like, Trickstar loses that matchup so god dang hard. So magicalized fusion. Yeah. So th this is this is right. Um. Do I play a another hand trap as the last card? Monster Reborn. What do you guys think about Monster Reborn? There's a fusion that needs a Synchro Dragon plus a level 5 or higher warrior if you want to cheese in front of all. That's true. Uh, you're talking about Dragonite Draco Ekist? Or how do you say that? Equisite? Here it is. one of those you say fusions um yeah i mean i i guess what's there's no nothing wrong with having a synchro target i mean a fusion target for uh infernable at this point this is eldritch salad um everything should all Dark Magician? I'm kidding. Uh, what's... Uh... I think Monster Reborn... Upstart isn't bad. I could play Upstart. Um, the problem is if you draw Disparity off of Upstart, you can't use it. And if you open Disparity and Upstart, you can't use it. I know it's like the weirdest little thing to be like picky about. But then Monster Born can just revive Dragoons, and it can also just be a natural like extender for Trick Stars, in like the the consistency. So I was thinking along the lines of that card. Yeah, you you can't draw cards. It, I think it's better than Extrav, at least in this deck. It depends. Something like Guru Control would rather play Extrav, because this card. Um, doesn't really matter when your deck is hyper consistent anyway, but Extrav is better. I mean, Extrav is better in that case, but this deck isn't super consistent. This card gives it that consistency. Because it's like, it's super hard to dig six cards into your deck and not see Candina terraforming or light stage. Or even Red Eyes Fusion, if you're we're being serious. I think I'll play the one of Monster Reborn. I'll try it, and if it sucks, I'll go back. And before we revert to the third coral, we're probably going to revert to third coral by the end of the night. Cause that's just how I roll. What's the last? What's a good one up for the side deck? Don't say red reboot, because trick stars can't kill your opponent. <laughs> Don't say red reboot. Uh, I just need one one of. 
Let me see. Let's look at the limited list. If all else fails, there's pro probably something at one that's broken there. Uh, maybe I could just cut Beast King Alpha. How many Beast King do you play? That sounds like a three of Beast King. Al His name is Alpha something, right? Zoo King Alpha. Do you play? Do you need spells, Imperial? I think Imperial is actually not that bad. In Trickstar, because I, I your light sages don't really matter if you're like turning off most of your opponent's spells, and then you they just it's that that, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. This card would let me out dragoon. Mm. This is probably weird sighting. I don't think it makes it ever makes any sense to side a card like this at two. But it's like Hmm. We'll start here and see where it goes. If anyone wants to from the chat wants to duel, um let me know. Petite Moth OTK. What am I about to get hit with? Petite Moth OTK. That's crazy. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I would do an earlier stream if I could do an earlier stream. I just feel like less people are around and I already don't get any viewers. So it's like... Oh my fucking God, yeah. This is probably the maximum worst hand you could like get that isn't just full of bad Dragoon stuff. No consistency cards whatsoever. No disparity, light stage, candina, none of that. But so. it's all right. It's enough to win. Liker is set to pass. He's also if he's actually playing an OTK deck. Ah oh shit. This is getting fun. Do I reincarnation here? Or do I just let him keep putting these big ass monsters on board? What the? Hello? Trickstar Mandrake? What? <laughs> what the hell? I'm genuinely like, what am I watching? My, is he gonna kill me with this? Twenty-eight, three thousand twenty-eight. Does he make a Saryuja or something? Make a Sar? No, Saryuja counts different names, or is it just different monsters? Not your fault. Being German, when the most people I converse with, I just yeah, I could, I could see that being like, the time zones just getting in the way of. How you hang out with other people. And I know 1am really does suck. Like I said, if you just... I mean, if you ping me in odd hours, if you want to play a game, we can just play a game. Um... I 
I think I'm dead, guys. Probably am. There was nothing Petite Moth about this OTK. I probably should have just reincarnated his whole hand at some point. Oh well. Yeah, this dangers and like Grand Maju, like that is Trickstar's biggest like worst matchup. Murder's dangers though. Well, they can still summon themselves. They just don't draw. But like Trickstar has a hard time dealing with big body. Dangers are all dark. Are dangers all dark? I'm pretty... Are d dangers are all dark, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Fuck! Why did I... Then why did I put that in? Alright, if he summons Mandrake, I should be good then. Oh! Or I can just do this. I don't have ash. All right, cool. Nice. Best duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's hope he doesn't play Kaijus. He probably does. Because if he's playing that many dangers. I think I negate this. I don't think I want him drawing cards. I'm pretty sure I negate this. This is probably hasty, but given how head-ass this deck is, I think the more cards he has, the worse position I'm in. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, and Candina's here. Let's go. Lycoris. Wait, am I playing a Trickstar mirror? Nah, I'm ending this game. <laughs> I am ending this game. Trickstar Dangerous? That's interesting. I wasn't expecting to be playing this. I think that man... Mandrake is a really good card. Trickstars need better Link monsters, like, desperately. Because their, their main deck cards are really strong. Nightshade's another really good one. Yeah, let me let me take out the Gozen matches then. So I'm going second against Trickstar Danger. Or am I going first against Trickstar Danger? I don't even know. Yeah, Holly Angel is like the only thing I like making in the deck. They also have the other one that I think if it had better materials, Divi Artis, that burns every time you summon a monster. I think that one's pretty good. But it's whoever who wants to waste time like trying to summon that. Cuz you can only use um two le uh, level 3 or lower Trickstar monsters and that's like that's a pain in the ass to set up.
Yeah, I should have figured I was going to be forced to go second. Let's see what happens. Don't need any of this. Only thing I really need is Starving Venom as my super poly targets. Two, three, four, five, six. I have Droll and Lockbird. So I'm going to take... Oh my god, Droll Reincarnation rapes dangerous. Now that I think about it. I'm gonna take this Reincarnation. Alright, here we go, chat. We're gonna make somebody's hand disappear. <laughs> Yummy! Yeah! Double reincarnation to assert dominance. If only I could kill my opponent. Was that overlay booster? Yeah, it was. It's nice to know other people are hip to how good that card is. Oh, really? Fuck. And I didn't rip his light stage. Of course I didn't. Well, I have two reincarnations in the grave, so that's not all bad. I just need another monster I can make Dragoon and end this. So, uh, let's pray that I open another monster. Oh, I had an infip and I didn't hit that Candina. That's stupid. I'm surprised other people are actually playing uh, Overlay Booster and Trickstar, though. But it is good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, another monster. Yeah, this is the end of the game. Dragoon is like the strongest trick star ever. He burns. And he's generic. I earned that victory. GG, Pity Moth. Yeah. As much as I hate to admit it, Dragoons is very good here. I expected it would go.
Alright, we're gonna play Solar. Trickstar. This good boss monster. Yeah, it was totally for Trickstars. That's who's getting the good boss monster. And this is why I love opening all Lycoris. I think I try. Do I try and go for a hand loop or do I try and Dragoon? I think I try and go for a hand loop. I don't know what I'm playing. Dragoon is probably the safer play, but I think I try and hand loop. Right? What if Dr Trickstar said, uh, uh, Dragoon said, uh, Trickstar of Red Eyes, or whatever. <laughs> Trickstar of Dark Dragoon. <laughs> Don't worry. Do these search at all? Um, also, someone did from your deck to the graveyard. Um, I don't know this deck. Did that do it, Chief? Oh, he just... No, he just has another one. G. Well, at least I get to do this. Yummy! Well, you can't draw two guards. Aw, oh, man. Rip this Candina. <laughs> yeah, that's a way of putting it. What's this thing do? Sorry, one face of monster you control cannot be shown to the end of your opponent's turn. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. God, I hate this card. This is the most unfair thing printed. Well, that's not true, but oh my god. I don't like Negalogia. This is balance. I think this card is stupid and shouldn't exist. It's balanced between banned and limited. Modern Exiton Knight. I don't even know, bro. Exiton Knight. Exiton Knight's hard once per turn. And can't be used with any Xyz monster that just attacks. This thing has, like, no requirements. Man, can I draw a monster?
I think I would have won if I drew a monster. Because then I could just make Dragoon. Can he do much? Probably not. Oh wait, no, he has this card in the graveyard. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. I think it's, it, it fills the same niche as Exiton Knight, but it's like, did this card really not have to be, like, did it, it could have been a hard once per turn, and it could have been once per chain. Like, this card didn't have to be as pushed as it is, but I guess that's the problem, and that's kind of one of the reasons I don't like, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, when compared to, like, other games that I play, is that Yu-Gi-Oh is balanced far too heavily around the idea that it has to be broken in order to sell. You know, like this card would not ex shouldn't exist in the way that it current does. There's there's no reason like any Xyz monster becomes this thing. So like no restrictions anywhere on this card. What do we do? When do we get the obligatory trick? I don't know. As soon as somebody draws it, I guess. What's this do? I'm pretty sure I'm just fucking dead already, bro. Just attack. You got... Uh, I didn't... You know, you, you made Negalogia double A A fair. Um... I don't think Super Poly is good against Datascape, but I do know what is. Do Datascape... Light Stage has no restrictions to either, okay? True! Light stage is broken. I'm not I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. Light stage is insane. Let me see if I if I can draw a Gozen match, I might be okay. Nope. I did not get Gozen match. I probably should have used terraforming first. You're right. Because revealing light stage was completely wasted. Huh. You know, I think I'm going to go for the same play again. I think I'm gonna. I don't know. Alright. I guess it doesn't matter. what I ash here and then send one dedicated car from your deck to the graveyard I guess I let him do this I don't really know what these cards do so I think the problem with this deck is that all their cards are in their hand I mean, they activate in their hand, so it's really hard to, like... Do you have an Ash? He doesn't. Alright, cool. Really? Really? Really, guys? I Okay. Um, really? The one-up call by the grave. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Really? Oh. 
This guy is freaking great. He's the best duelist I've ever played against, bro. I should have known he would have had the one of called by the grave. Yeah, man. I'm I'm entirely torn on Datascape. I don't want this deck to become good because it's incredibly annoying. I don't think any deck should have an entire lineup of monsters that special summon themselves from the hand and send something from their deck to the graveyard or add something from their deck to your hand. This thing this deck has a recipe is a recipe of being like insanely difficult to deal with. Can you ask him for his number for me? <laughs> Sure. I'm pretty sure I just lose from this position, dude. He had everything. He's he's a god. He also had talents again. Crazy. He's a Chad. Yeah, I have to stop this if I have any chance of winning. Alright team, if I top deck a monster, I make Dragoon and I win. If I don't, I lose. I need any monster that's not Dark Magician or Red Eyes. But I know what deck I'm playing. I play tunes. I don't need an high effect card. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my fucking god, bro. Really? And I drew a monster too. I drew a monster, guys. Uh. Well. I lose because Negalogia is fair. <laughs> I don't like that Negalogia card at all. Gaia Charger Stongs. Yeah, dude. I didn't even realize you could do that. I thought the Xyz monster you ranked up had to be the one them to make Negalogia, but apparently that's not true. You just have to have battled with an Xyz monster. Cause that's that's pretty much free to Xyz material right there. Jesus Christ! And then every hand I draw is like filled with Lycoris and this dickhead. Don't worry, I'm not trying to win this duel. I'm gonna set my Super Poly. And pass. I think after this I might uh do you guys want to see me try a non dragoon version with Constellar play these setups? Or would you I could probably play Evil Twin. God forbid I burn you for two hundred. I kind of want to see Pleiades. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up then. I'll take Dragoon out and try Pleiades version. <clears throat> Dragoon, Dragoon version, you're always drawing this. These bad cards, they don't do anything. Oh, I should have. I should have drolled unlocked. Oh well, I don't really care. It's all right, bro. It's 
succession. Ooh. I'm not gonna draw. I'm just gonna hold it. Alright. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Please in your turn. Thank you. <gasps> I'm Saki. There it is. There's Candina. Trickstar Dragon Mate. I wish. I I actually wish I could make that work. You don't understand. I want to I want to play Trickstar with literally any deck I can. When do we get Necros? <laughs> Eventually. We're never getting the Necros trap, dude. That card doesn't exist. Konami put it there just to bait us. Oh, right. I do half damage. What? Why do you think they specifically said you do half damage? Do you think it's because they don't want to give this card to, um... Specifically, like, nur not Nurse Burn, but, like, Mystic Mind Burn decks or stuff like that? That has to be why. I feel like, but you do have damage. It's such a weird restriction for a consistency card. What's this thing do? So all monsters on the field have a certain amount of reaction time. Oh, also you can only attack with one monster this turn. If two or more monsters special on the field, you can special on this card. And if this card is one session, since the graveyard by opponent's guard, but you can banish one monster from your opponent's graveyard. Okay. This is a weird card. This is... Mm. That it? No, it's not it.
He gonna make his own Dragoon? Be Thanos snap your mouth. Yeah. Or is this the Axis Cold Talker? Um I think I'm still in the driver's seat. Yeah, he attacks over goons, but I don't think that really matters here. Lily Bell can put two monsters on board by herself during the next battle phase and I just make the second dragoon with magicalized fusion. So Oh, if that's a set infip, that's gonna fucking suck. Oh no, it's succession. I guess he could bring back this Anaconda and make a Dragoon of his own. That's kind of a scary thought. Does he do that? Does he do that here? No. He makes Sakatron. Why does he bring back this card? He takes even more damage? But you're playing against Trickstar. Why would you do this? Oh, it doesn't... Oh, battle doesn't happen. Huh, that's interesting. I still think I beat him though. Dina, normal summon, search reincarnation. Yeah. Oh fuck, I normal summon this turn. What? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I just forgot. I immediately just forgot I normal summon this turn. Ah, uh, that's bad. That's bad. I completely like blanked on that. I'm dumb. I should have just did what I was going to do the first time. Bring back Lycoris, make Dragoon, burn this, and win. Oh, man. That's so stupid of me. Does he not have another though enough another one that has fifteen hundred? Oh, that wouldn't have been lethal either. I mean Yeah, it would've. Huh. I completely blanked on that. And now I'm losing again. see can I be using you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard then target one card your opponent controls destroy it if this card is co-link you can target one monster in your opponent's main monsters don't destroy it all right so there's no protection happening here all right that's clean I 
let's do what I was supposed to do. Oh no! I fucked up because I can't make Dragoon. I don't have enough life points. I really like... I really should have just did this last turn. <sighs> God damn it. Ah, I threw that whole game in the garbage. Super Parley is no bueno against this deck. But this end of this Golden match actually looked like it'd be pretty good. I don't think DD Crow is that great. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I'm just stupid. That's all that was. I had to play the victory, and I just threw it away. It's alright. I'm gonna do it right this time. I know this stops Purple Nightfall, so... If three or more cards are in the tank, I'll use them for the random. Why not? Let me just flip it here. Goes and match is so good. Because it's a floodgate. And floodgates are so good. Leave my birthday in a condo alone, you meanie. Dick. Take the extra attack, actually. No, he can't. I don't really think he does anything other than attempts to act and mix it mine. I don't see how he outs Dragoon here. Oh, shit. Pretty sure. If he f talents me, he wins here. Oh no! I know what he's gonna do. Oh wait. Can he do that under Gozen though? I think that one, the one that banished was water. Oh fuck, he just makes access code talker now. 
This card is probably the most... I, I straight up think Machine Duplication is the strongest card in Yu-Gi-Oh. This card is stupid. Imagine dude that hasn't played since Synchro's come back and they read Dragoon. Yeah, Dragoon's broken. But this Machine Duplication, this card is dumb. I don't even get it. guys I think Trickstar Dragoon isn't it if even appliancers could out it I think if I just had Dragoon is too weak. Um, I think it's a strong card, but it's not good enough to build to hold a deck around it. This isn't like Masterpiece. Masterpiece is easier to summon and stronger. It's just flat out unaffected by the uh, cards, whereas Dragoon is technically still affected. It's just really hard to deal with. Like. It's not strong enough to build an entire strategy around it. But it it is interesting to see how close we could we got to that threshold, right? Like what how strong could we make a generic boss monster before we started to have started having to ban them now. And this is this is that threshold. I think Dragoon is definitely ban worthy. Um, simply because it's generic, not necessarily because it's overwhelmingly good. Might try here, Trickstar Eldritch at some point. Trickstar Eldritch does sound like it worked. I don't know how to play Eldritch, but I think conceivably it makes sense. Is it possible to make a Synchro Trickstar to make Savage Dragon? I think it is, yeah. All you need is generic good stuff, help cards, and you could probably do it. I think the biggest issue is that Trickstars don't have a um, Link 1 that all of them can make. So you don't have a lot, of, you don't have an easier enough time like setting up like cards like Parallel Exceed. Because what you could do is you could use Parallel Exceed to make um, Gallant Granite and then use the two of them and then use Gallant Granite to search Ad Emancipator Researcher who can summon herself. And that's a help combo right there. So, like, any deck that could do um, two level fours in Parallel Exceed can do Halka Fibrax nonsense. Trickstars do need a good Link 1. I think if Light Stage is doomed to stay at 1, I would like a Link 1 that searches it, but locks you into, like, Light Monsters for the entire time, the entire turn. If it did that, I'd be fine. It took you... All you had to go through all of this? Don't you have an access code, bro? It took all of that just to get past my point. Now he makes the access go. God, that's the most win more combo. Yeah, I don't I don't need to sit here and watch this. You got it, bro. Uh could light stage be at three again? Probably not. Light stage does a little too much. As much as I do want it to be at three, um, the fact that it pins back row makes it perfect for going second. And because it's generic, it means any deck that could abuse the extra, abuse the body that it gives now has like protection against going second. So I don't, I don't like this. I don't think light stage can actually feasibly come back to one and it be a good thing for the metagame. 
All right, now we're gonna try um, overlay booster dot deck. And my OCD is flaring, so we're just gonna move these stroll and lock birds down here. Yeah, there we go. Um. Play dangerous. No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't want to play dangerous. Platies is my boss monster, if you know what I mean. Two platies. Um. I could I need I probably need to let go of some super poly targets. Just one. I need more links. Light imprisoning her. Stop it. I want to play the game. Um, I don't know if three overlay booster is correct. It probably isn't. This is technically a fourth copy of overlay booster. I'm not sure if one or two played is. I think two. I think two. I just need a generic link material. For sure. Um, I can actually link Karibo. Now we're going to be testing uh, Platy's version. This hand's actually pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, I can. If you guys want the um, sleeves, yeah, I can share it. That's, that's pretty easy. See, this is the only problem with this this version. Like, unlike the Super Poly version, you kind of got less stuff to send. So, uh... Yeah. It's alright. I anticipated Ash. I might not play Super Poly. I might cut it for uh, Droplet um, with this version, just so I can play more links. <sighs> this kind of this is kind of crusty, but. I mean, uh... I'm 
emergency cyber. Let me just bounce back to Cyber Dragon. Haha. Probably screwed if he has machine duplication. Oh, hey. I'm gonna just bounce the fuck out of this because I can't handle Dragoon. Yeah, yeah. I might actually play Talents in Trickstar. Galaxy Soldier. Uh, yeah. You got this, bro. I don't have anything. Let's just move on to the next game. I don't know what's that great against Cyber Dragon, so I'm just going to side in Mystic Mine. Because Super Poly sucks against this deck. Madolce Trickstar one. As soon as somebody figures out how to play um, both those decks without committing to your normal summon. It's alright. I'm fine. here. He had two hand traps and it were the two perfect hand traps. Chain summon is not good. It was f cool in Trickstar when Light Stage was at three and Candina was, uh, being at three. Jesus. But like, without that, you... You really... It's not it's not consistent enough anymore. Cuz with chain summon you need both Candina and Lycoris in your hand for it to work. Oh, I'm probably fucking dead. I'm pretty much dead, I bet. I don't think Cyber Dragon can out Mystic Mind though. Actually, don't they have a I think they have a trap card that does things. But he only has two cards in his hand. So he he summons the first Galaxy Soldier. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. See this effective overlay booster? 
people don't realize it, but it's like really good. Like 3,500 beat stick for Trickstar, that's a big deal. Like everything I'm doing right here is so good. I can't. I can't kill him, so I go. Now I can't kill him. Now we're in the driver's seat. Yeah, I hate hand traps. They they're I mean they add an interesting dimension to gameplay, but God knows, like <laughs> they take away from I what I think is deck diversity. When your first concern in deck building is how many ash blossoms I need to shove in here or different versions of ash blossoms, it's it takes away from a lot of the fun. Though to be fair, I won't blame like the modern area of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh has always been this way where generic good stuff cards are like better than majority of archetypal stuff. This, yeah, Zoo King Alpha. I'm not really sure. The Cyber, Cyber Dragon's a go second deck, but this guy plays Dragoon, so. Or at least I'm assuming he does since I saw that Verte Anaconda. Okay, yeah, he's playing a go second build then. Are we going to see another case of my opponent drew the uh, one-off call by the grave? Probably still lose to Dragoon, so it doesn't matter.
Oh yeah, I'm dead. Actually, maybe not. This thing can attack three times. Exactly lethal, by the way. Wait, what? Uh, I better hope he's only playing one overload illusion or I'm dead. Do these have graveyard effects? You can. When you. Only your opponent controls the monster, you manage to cover and control someone. Only your opponent controls the monster, so they don't. I have to get rid of this though. This is kind of bad. Oh, brother. This actually might work here. Oof, Lily Bell in my hand though, so. I don't think I do too much though. Mm -hmm. I need a very good top deck. Overlay booster is not it. Yeah. Uh, I just end my turn. He just has to attack. Yeah, I'm gonna let's try cutting super polys in this variant. Um, actually, we'll keep the duplexer because that's an instant fusion. Actually, we'll play uh, this card. Spicy Time Wizard of Tomorrow. It's a instant fusion target that also is a go second card that wipes the board. Um, it deals burn damage, but you don't really care about that because. It's an instant fusion target that helps you go second. So. What's it called? Droplet. 
Let's try Droplet. Yeah, anything that does burn damage is a Trick Star card. What are some good generic links I could play? I mean, this card recovers light stage, so why the fuck not, right? Also, tricksters use a trap card, so they're officially a trap trick player. Yeah? Particularly trap trick, if you play that in your trickstar deck. Yeah. I guess Boral Sword. What's a good generic link? There's gotta be something. Hmm. I mean, I guess Mascarina. I don't really think that's good in tricks. I mean, I guess. Why not? It probably will never come up. And it'll just be banished for disparity. But we'll try it. Alright, so this is what... We'll try this without... Um, Super Poly. And we'll use Droplet. Because I, I can conceivably see Droplet being pretty good. Um, at least alright. Since you can just send uh, send trick stars and then reborn them with uh, or get them all back with Lily Bell or reincarnation, or you can like chain reincarnation and then droplet something. Like, I think those are actually like viable plays. Oh crap. Am I the only one who sees like these weird numbered decks? Like this is a 51 card deck and I assume I'm playing against something that's a meme. I think I'm the only one that does that. Because who, who makes a 51 card deck?
45 dragon vision. <laughs> no, there was some math behind that. At least the one I did. I added in three more hand traps and then two starters to complicate compensate. So it ended up being like consistent. Then the 40 card variant. 51 just seems like an odd number. Motherfuck. Yeah. All the super polys are coming out tonight. Oh my god, I'm playing against fucking Grinmanju. Ugh. God damn it. This is the worst matchup for Trickstar. The absolute worst one. He drew into another one. This guy is God. <sighs> oh, at least I got it. I guess he forgot about what's her name's effect. Why I play honest. <sighs> You're telling me, dude. It's so dumb. Why does he keep declaring divine? Does he know what Mud Dragon does? Oh my god, I'm doing this again. This guy does not know. Oh, he got it right. Sorta. He has no light monsters, but... Uh, one, two. Summon Lily Bell. Do I have any Lycorises? I do. Beat over this thing. Oh, uh, got good hands as well. Cause it's just it's just another good stuff deck, dude. It's just a bunch of Oh fuck. I forgot. Damn it. Whatever, bro. I really can't stand this deck for trick. Like, it's so annoying. Oh my god. Like, they straight up don't have to actually play the game against you. Uh I completely despise Grand Maju.
whether you gotta go first or you gotta go second. You always gotta do some bullshit against it. Uh, I don't know, bro. I mean, I opened terraforming, so it's not terrible. See what we get. I feel like if I go for reincarnation, I try and rip his hand. But I don't really have any follow up plays if that doesn't work. Maju is always the last card in the deck. try and play like solitaire so I don't have to worry about getting super poly well not solitaire but uh, single monsters just Grimaju isn't very good against like control decks that have a linear game plan so we're setting monster reborns he probably didn't want to discard it off of Bigfoot. Makes sense. Not Bigfoot. Uh, whatever he activated. Fuck like that. Yes, yeah, I would have been rewarded here if I went for the reincarnation play. Oh my fucking god. I'm still in the game though. I don't like the way uh, this card interacts with monsters that don't have set attack values. It halves the attack of uh, what they currently have. So this is going to be 22 instead of what it should be, which is fucking nothing because it negates the effect. Like, it's, it's a weird interaction. Beat over this damn Maju. I think I've already used 
Yeah, I did use Lily Bell's summon. So I can't attack. So my goal here is he doesn't top deck that well. Then he attacks into Candina. And I weaken him enough to where I don't die. I don't really care about the kaiju. And he's only making it easier for me to kill him with Lily Bell. And then I just swing at him, swing at him with Lily Bell for game. So we're done. God. Gosh, I hate much. <laughs> Alright, game two. I'm going to play Lancia because I think that if I can banish, um, if I can stop him from banishing, I should be good. I can cut down on one reincarnation. Maybe one. Maybe one Infip. Now, we'll drop it. Infip is way better. And play to uh, Cosmic for Golden Castle. Does Grimaju doesn't have an out to Mystic Mind, does it? I don't think it does. Yeah, fuck that. I'm playing Mystic Mind. <laughs> I don't think it can out it. If I don't have anything on the board. Ooh, and I open this. It's a very healthy amount of hand traps. I got a million. That's pretty good. Opening light stage, I think three games in a row is Saki. Like, that's really good. Opening the fucking Lily Bell, though, not as good. Gonna be completely honest with you. It kinda sucks. Lancia could be a blessing or a curse in this matchup. Because if he has a lure, I'm kind of fucked. Oh fuck, I keep forgetting about that damn card. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to read. I should have read. Oh man. Oh yeah, that thing has a maintenance cost. Nope, go ahead now. Spies Castle Schomburg. <sighs> this is bad. I 
Oh, now it's not. Fuck you. Yay! You guys want to play a different game while this duel finishes out? Oh, I guess I'm not going to be able to win this way. Huh. Does he really attack the... But you're under mine. Why would you attack? I'm confused. Now you're back under it. Anyone else confused? Why did he Then he puts two monsters on board? It's too late for that, Chief. How much time we got? Nine turns? I'm gonna use it. Fun, interactive Yu-Gi-Oh. Why does he keep putting monsters on his side of the field? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, if he gets to play Unga Bunga, why can't I not let him do that? I guess. Honestly, if I, f I feel like if a deck has to resort to doing this, it's probably a sign of the deck like not having a lot of things to do. Like Trickstar definitely needs support. This isn't between this and Dragoon being like the best things that the decks can do these days. It's like, ugh. I don't know about that, Chief. Really? Look what I revealed, chat. Two Lycralis and two Disparities. It's fucking sick. As long as he doesn't draw a Twin Twister. Can you OTK with Time Wizard if you kill Maju? I think... Does it say original attack? Equal to half the total original attack. Yeah. I don't think Gramaju says its original attack becomes that value. So...
I just want to say I earned this victory. I find it funny that you can't activate Pot of Trickstar Reincarnation if your opponent has no cards in deck. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm not do that again to myself. <sighs> so I think I think Disparity is is definitely better than Extravagance. This this card is at home in this deck. Um, well, I, better than Extravagance and Trickstar specifically. I don't think. Um, the deck's still good enough. Uh, I, it makes playing Dragoon, I guess, easier. Um, play these version with all the links, I guess, is fine too. But this deck desperately needs like something to do. And to be fair, this was um, Trickstar's like overall issue. Like it was good, but that was because it was just the metagame was was still like very weak. When Master Rule 4 came around, you had some decks that were super good, like Spiral and um, Pendulum. And uh, Droll and Lockbird was just really strong against that. So Trickstar had a very good meta win con and just ripping their opponent's hand to shreds with it or like drolling them to death. But now that that's not really working. Like it, the Rogue the rogue scene in Yu-Gi-Oh! was a lot stronger than it's ever really been. Rogue decks are unique in doing their own thing. So Droll and Reincarnation combo isn't as effective as it always been. Um, consistency cards out of the extra deck are really good to make up for getting your hand loops. Uh, cards like Quick Launch mean they're only like one normal summon plus a Quick Launch away from making um, Halka Fibrax and going off from full combo from there. I don't think... Um, I, th I think Light Stage coming back to 3 would be great for Trick Stars, but I don't think it would be enough to make them good. They need a boss monster and like something to do for sure. Like it's, it's, if it's something as simple as like d quick effect, destroy card and deal damage equal to the attack, like a Dryden that burns for Trickstar, that'd be a huge deal for this deck. Even like with light stage at one, something like that would be perfect. They need a boss monster that just does something. Dragoon isn't what they need. Um, but it's the best they've got. Oh well. Let's play Dragon Maid. Let's do some good stuff. We'll play Dragon Maid now. Most of them are a joke for an idol archetype. Their fields both besides Light Sage were bad. Yeah, it's really sad, but I mean, it's it happens. Alright, we're playing the deck, and we opened so many hand traps that there's literally no reason to actually try and play. No, that's fine. Trickstar Fusion is a card. It's a card, but it's just not good. Like, they don't have a good Trickstar monster. Or Trickstar Fusion monster. 
if Trickstar Fusion, if they had a good Trickstar Fusion card, then Trickstar Fusion and Trickstar um, Fest would be amazing. Because Fest gives you fusion material in one card. Oh, a fucking course for playing this deck. And tragically, I did not draw a full combo. Fuck that. See what we can do. Hello, Major M. Welcome to the stream. Uh, my day is it's actually been pretty well uh, nothing nothing too crazy to be honest just having a good time um, can I kill him I kind of want to make sure I can kill him how's your day one He has a miss in his hand. And I don't know how to put lethal on board. Because uh, this isn't dragon. Sounds like this where I wish I was playing Omega. Shit. Um. I can make uh, Fusion Trish. That's not really going to do anything. Crap, uh, I think I just fears here. Cause I don't have any real extension. That miss is a problem. God knows I hate that card. I should have attacked first at least, but it's whatever. I mean, at least I can stop Tyranno with Lorepar, so... Yep, 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 I know. Yep, 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 yep. As you know, dinos play for free around here. They don't actually have to try. I don't actually feel that way. 
I know dinos have a very high skill ceiling, but I don't like the fact that they get their hand held by a card that pretty much says your opponent can't interact with you during your turn. It's not really a problem against the dino players, it's really just the deck isn't fair. Myth shouldn't exist. And I don't I don't really like card design like this. Because it sets a precedent for like We'll we'll see something like this along the road later. Like Man. Another archetype is gonna come out with an uh, a miss esque effect and everyone's gonna be like <gasps> If they wanted to give dinos this effect, it should have been on like it could have, it should have been like how uh what's that one rich crafter card name is? Um Creation. I think that car is fair. Yes, yes, make your dumb Dalka. As I said before, dinos play for free around here, so you don't actually have to try. Like I said, dinos play for free. The dragon forms are so ugly. Oh, names. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really care too much for them. I don't even like their English, like regular names, like Nurse Dragon Maid. Do I need to be told it's a nurse? I can look at its outfit and see that. <sighs> but the OCG has that naming convention too. Ooh, top deck. All right. Let's see if I can go for an Ortiz. Is it just me or the audio coming back on? What do you mean? These Yu-Gi-Oh players are names. has to be destroyed specifically by a card effect. So I'm going to destroy this baby. Hold on. Alright, I think I can break this. And I attack this.
And I unicorn spin it back into the deck. This is super crusty. You never want to be making access code after your battle phase. Uh, we got pushed to this point. Imagine how boring it would be if real life decks were in the anime. It'd be super boring. Certainly wouldn't be very fun. It's like those, it's like, it's the reason why they save like those, um, those crazy like Don Thousand cards. Eh. It's the reason why they save those crazy Don Thousand cards for uh, the final duels just to be over the top. Because realistically, if, if cards like, if they had like cards that like genuinely protected them, the anime like wouldn't make much sense. You can't, you can't realistically give every duelist these like random cards that have these powerful effects. It just doesn't make any sense. Though to be fair, sometimes cards in the anime aren't perceived to be as good as they actually ended up being. Like say, Performer Pals, like most of them are really good. Well, not most of them. Some, A lot of them are trash, but like there are some instances where cards in the anime ended up being ridiculous in real life like the perform mages specifically the perform mages are dumb Alright, let's hope I can win. Do I get away with full combo chat? I don't think so, but we'll see. Worst case, I search clean up and bounce a miss back to his hand. If I can't go full combo. Okay.
Yeah, so y'all, y'all chat like that, right? You like that? <laughs> I was getting that knock division draw. You mind if people DM you? Know, I got a maid deck. Yes, of course. If you have any questions concerning Dragon Maid play, it's perfectly fine to DM me. I have no problems with that. I'll give you my opinions on it. Um, you're free to agree or disagree. I know some people like to believe that it's my way or the highway, but that's not really true. Tempest and Ash. The most frightening one of in this bitch is. Pencil stag, maybe? Let's just get the access gold talker. It's like the only thing that really matters here. We can banish and throw a legacy guard dragon. Hope we search it. I don't know. Fuck, this deck plays kaijus. Maybe? Doesn't matter. Imagine drawing the bureau.
The most dangerous thing about using VFD on your turn is that it changes your maid's types. So that can be a little dangerous. Well, at least I opened something in case he gets Tyranno. That's like all I opened. And now that doesn't even matter anymore. Why didn't... Does that mean he opened pill? I think he opened the pill. What the? Alright. I'll take it. Oh snap, the crew might be getting a game of Among Us. <laughs> I, I, I feel like there is not a deck I face more on this online platform than Dark Magician. Hello, how are you doing? Dragold185. Welcome to the stream. I'm well. How are you? All right, so we get Dark Magician set one pass, guys. I think we can do it. Maybe. Because <laughs> if this is the floodgate, we might not be able to do it. <laughs> uh, it's funny. What is the set card, though? If it's Eternal Soul, that'd be pretty good. Because it does nothing. someone on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus with my Blue Eyes Dark Magician hybrid deck. How did that play out? That sounds like it... I mean, I... Do they have, like, support that works well with each other? I can't really imagine how good that would be. Hmm. 
do you I'm supposing it's built off of that really strong I mean I wouldn't say really strong but that new card they got destined rivals that card's actually pretty nuts and target one monster on the field destroy it magical dimension that's funny Okay, so I'm actually playing Yugi Turbo here, guys. Allies are just <laughs> no, dude. I'm gonna. I feel bad having to explain to this guy what's about to happen to him. But it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be pretty. Actually, I don't even have to do too much. We can just we can just take this slow. We can take this slow. Send the lore par. Get changeover. this over dark magic <laughs> I I don't want to be mean to the Yugi stands and like the dark magician fans but I don't like that deck I really wish it would just stop getting support like then they deliberately tried they try not to give it things that are coherent because they like to spin the wheel on how popular the support is There's a reason they don't have a card that lets them turbo out Dragoon. Because if they got such a card, it'd be really difficult giving them support. But their support is profitable, so they have to get bad support. Call me a, conspir a conspiracy theorist, but that's why I think Dark Magician's always spinning the wheel. No, Jotaro, come back! No! Why do they always quit? Always quit. Uh, let me see. Let me try. How's my evil twin deck going? Let me put this back together. I'm sorry, my uh, synchro twin with all of two synchro. We're going to play some evil twin for a little bit. I think I'm supposed to be getting in um, an Among Us game. With some friends, I'm typing on Among Us. Hmm. Yeah, I think it sucks that Konami is deliberately always spinning its wheels with Dark Magician support, but it's—I mean, it is what it is. I feel bad for players that want the deck to be good, but know it'll never be able to be as viable as it should be for as much support it gets. Saryuja, Griffin, what else do I need? Here it is. We'll play this. 
I don't think I'm missing anything. Hard to imagine. Man, if Dark Magician actually got good support and they started trying, imagine how good that deck would be. Like straight up, it'd be it'd be stupid. Good one of the play. I guess we'll play. Jesus. Something like this. This will be fine. We'll play with this. I'm just waiting for them to try the do the dragoon thing again with um, blue eyes support. It's going to be hilarious. Would have liked to see more direct Slifer support. By the way, if anybody in chat wants to play a game, feel free to just hop in. Pendulum. Sorry about that. Oh, crap. Alright, alright, this is the part where I get the secrets, right? Did I get the secrets? 
I mean the knowledge. I did. I'm so good. This sucks though. This is frustrating. One negate is gonna end my whole turn. Which means I have to search this card. Literally can't do much. At least we can get both effects. Picking this board apart one way or another. I wish they had a card that helped them, like, something, or at least something more playable that helped them control their, um, attack values better. And he already pendulum summoned, so that's nice.
come on. He really should have just used Servant of Endymion's effect first. I think DM is better than ever. Dragoon is really good in the deck. It's just unfortunate that that doesn't really mean much. Though to be fair, Dark Magician doesn't need to be a good deck. It just needs... It just needs to be fun. And the problem I have with the deck is it really just feels... I mean, they've gotten better though. It used to just be like, play a bunch of good stuff, traps, and cycle Dark Magician over and over again. It doesn't really hold the magic that it felt watching Yugi duel. At least in my opinion. Because Yugi, he was pretty entertaining. Like, he w it would always feel like a magic trick. At least that's how I felt when I watched it as a kid. I think Blue Eyes... Blue Eyes was cool. But sadly, a lot of what made Blue Eyes special... Is kind of like what makes dragons special in general. So Blue Eyes has an identity issue. They don't really... Like, Big Number Hit Hard isn't exclusive to them. Big Dragon Hit Hard isn't even exclusive to them. Because Dragon Maid does that too. Like, Blue Eyes really just don't have anything that stands out. At least in my opinion. I just hate how much how hard they milk Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. Especially Dark Magician. Like, god dude. They get so much support for no reason. Somebody didn't read Instant Fusion. I'm not really using my resources properly this game. I've kind of just been blowing through my twins. But... I'd really like to get this game over with. Because I don't like playing against Pendulum. This was good at least. Yeah. I think Blue Eyes definitely had its moment where it was really good. I can't... I can't completely sh like say it was bad. But I still feel like... It's all just nostalgia support at the end of the day. Pretty sure I just make Abomination here. I, I would love them to do some hybrid support for Dragon Maid. I think Appliancer is probably the deck that makes the most sense. But, like, I would love us to just get something. Or it reveal that Dragon Maid is a part of, like, a mythos. Like they did with the uh, Psyframe and Time Thief. Where apparently they all belong to um, a mini, like, lore. I would love that. Just to see where, where we sit in the greater Yu-Gi-Oh! realm, I guess.
Usually waifu archetypes don't get that luxury though. Yeah, it does. Usually it's by players that, that actually haven't read the cards, though. Well, it's probably not going to be too expensive anymore. With maximum gold reprinting the most valuable card. It'll still be pricey, but it's definitely not going to be as bad as it is now. And to be fair... I got five kitchens because I actually sat down and bought Mystic Fighters. I bought three boxes um, and I pulled five kitchens. One um, Alan Bershon and I think those were the only... And one Nurse. But I ended up... Tra I traded the uh, two kitchens. I probably should have held off on that because the value on kitchen got crazy. Because it was $25 when I got it. And I got rid of them for 25 So I kind of regret that. Um, I, I definitely regret that. But I got rid of the Alan Bershon for a um, BLS link. So that was huge plus. Because Alan Bershon did not stay that high for very long. Chaos Machina. This is interesting. I'll win the die roll eventually. Shit. Actually, no. Don't win the die roll. Because this hand is not good for that. <laughs> oh, no. That Cosmo Dark Eclipser? Fantasmic, that card is good against Evil Twins. That's not good. And I didn't draw in anything. Feck. Yeah, just being a dragon is nice. Maybe I should go back to playing Pot of the Desires in this deck. People who don't say maids don't do anything just haven't played the deck. It's a really strong deck. Though to be fair, the deck suffered from like replay tuber disease where like everybody who ever touched the deck was super bad at playing it. 
Like, if you go back and watch some of the earlier Dragon Maid play, it was just not good. Um, do I draw on anything that's actually going to help me? Okay. And we draw into another parallel elixir. That makes sense. Oh my god, dude. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, come on. How are we not seeing action? One hand trap. Well, at least we got the Dark Destroyer here now, man. And of course I gave him the freaking Dark Lady. Oh, how I can go out. Yeah.
Do you have Nexus? Um, I do. I usually only play it when I'm at work, though. Did I not put Linkross in here? Oh my god, I didn't. Mother truck. That's what I was missing. Alright then. Completely forgot to put Link Ross in the deck. God dang it. Oh, wait, you can't target Dark Destroyer. Ah, damn it. Uh, yeah, you got it, Chief. I can't believe I forgot to put Link Ross in the deck. Ah, crap. Um, do you not have Edo? Yeah, what was it? I need to go. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot Link Ross. <sighs> I almost feel like I'd rather play Desires in this deck just because I want to see, like, cards. Actually, I might end up playing Among Us with some friends, so I don't really know. We'll have to see. Yeah, come on. I have the answer for you, though. Oh boy. It's fine.
All right. Not having that drop that kind of sucks whatsoever. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna be real chat if this like goes longer than round 10 I'm probably just gonna I don't have time to sit behind mystic mind <laughs> no thanks I am NOT a mystic mind duelist I am of the firm believer that if you deliberately play this card you're sniffing glue I said as I previously won a game earlier with it Though to be fair, I was playing against an actual glue sniffer. Oh, I'm playing against a... Yeah, I am playing against a glue sniffer. It's a Sky Striker player. They play 30 hand traps, and if that doesn't work, they rely on Mystic Mind. To be fair, you really need high IQ to understand Mystic Mind. Oh, yeah, dude. I feel bad for Sky Striker, because... Missing Mine is the only thing that keeps this deck relevant, to be completely honest with you. Most of the time it ends up having to use every resource it has just to stand a chance. And if that fails, it hides behind this card. Pretty much just lose here anyway. All right.
and then we draw the wrong Leah. Unfortunate. Banish the researcher, so Alright, I think I can make it through this. Or not. Banished my other Veiler. This whole thing is just scuffed. That's why I cut Desires, because it's super risky. Monsters. Two of those monsters with different names. Suddenly this is all fixed. This is the most roundabout combo, but it did work. Draw back into the Amphib. And then... I can make...
Oh my god, it bugged. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Ghost Ogre, Jamming Ways, Eagle Booster. I mean, yeah, he found some good stuff. Eagle Boost, I mean, j Jamming Ways, yeah. Of course he has afterburners. At least I pranked him. Can you play Widow Anchor in that zone too? He actually set Widow Anchor in that zone. Huh. Fair. I mean, I pretty much can't win, so I'm top decking. surrender button I'm good <laughs> I think I'm actually kind of kind of tired today chat uh we've been going for like five hours uh, probably be better I don't know might as well go back and talk about this because this is what I came to work on I don't know. What are some fun decks I can play? I'm kind of like in a drought. 
I want to play some fun stuff and do fun things. So we're going to duel or no. Um, I really don't personally want to get on Nexus. If you can get on Edo, I'm down for a duel. Because then I have to like go all the way over there. And then I have to get the deck list and put over there. And it's a lot of work, bro. Not saying no, but if, if you want to come over to Edo, yeah, sure. I can duel you on DB if you want to duel there. I have my most of my stuff there. Monarchs. So do you want to duel on Dueling Book? Alright, give me one moment to set it up then. It's basically like real life dueling. So. Don't worry, I'm not going to be too like strict about it. You can take certain things back. Um It's fine. Does Nexus have a um import free uh feature where you can import your decks? Cuz I really don't want to like go in and put in a 60 card deck. Like that sounds like a huge pain right now. Uh, oh yeah, they do. All right, yeah, we can uh, we can duel on uh, dueling Nexus. Yeah, we can we can duel on dueling nexus. Let me know how to set up a private game. Cause I don't I don't think I've ever done that on this platform. Give me one second. Uh, all right. Um, 
one second. Alright, uh, let me know if um, it's coming through well. Uh, let me know, is the, the is it showing up well on um, Twitch, the display? I think it looks fine. find this whisper I don't I don't really see a Is it a, is that a setting like in game? Where did you whisper the link? I don't use this platform much, so I don't know where where would I would find it. Like I don't see a Let me see. Oh, okay, you sent it through Chitch. Okay, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I strongly recommend, though, in the future. I'll do it today, but I would prefer to keep the duels to either DB or uh, Edo. Preferably Edo, even. It says I've been disconnected from the server. Uh, who knows? What happened? Send it again? Good luck, man.
This is some interesting music. This is the power of it. Oh uh, yeah, my deck is very strong. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, it happens. Oh boy, yeah. Future fusion? Prisoners. Uh, hi, per uh, personals. Is it bear? Pear? <laughs> Anyways. Good evening, pair. I am doing well. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh This is a uh Then. Well, it was fun, bro. Um, is there a play again feature so we can do a uh Yeah, that's kind of how Yu-Gi-Oh is these days. Sorry about that. Use the same link? Okay. The platform was a lot cleaner than I remember it being. I love this song.
I don't think um, I'm going to make VFD this time. I'm going to take both zones. No, I'm not going to extra link you. I'm not going to make VFD this game. Don't worry. I'm going to be nice. Actually, I mean, I probably just should so I can win. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to make VFD this game. I wasn't going to do it, but I realized I might as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, by no means will I be stopping any of what you're going to do. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I'm probably going to stop streaming for tonight. Um, I'm going to play some Among Us, or at least try and play some with my friends. Uh, actually, I might end up streaming it. I don't think anybody will watch it, though. <laughs> but, anyways, for now, I'm going to stop, and I'm just going to upload this separately to YouTube. So, thanks for coming out to the stream for all those who came. Some came and some, call, some went. It was a lot of fun. Nice ch chatting with people. Um... Have a great evening, guys, and take care.